Hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here from Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Today we're going to learn the song Torn, made famous by Australian pop singer Natalie Imbruglia. It was a huge hit for her in uh, 97, right? And um, it's a great song, really fun to play on acoustic guitar. And I like to mix it up here at Epic Guitar Instruction. I do songs for beginners, intermediates, advanced players. I also like to teach songs made famous by female singer-songwriters and whatnot because more and more women are picking up the guitar, especially the acoustic guitar, and it's so awesome. And there are so many incredible female talented musicians out there and you know we want to support that and i'll put some more of my lessons in which we cover female singer songwriter songs uh in the cards so be sure to check some of them out too we're going to learn the song today in standard tuning low to high e a d g b and e and through most of the rhythms there's five basic chords that you're going to have to know i'll show you a few different ones for the intro um, and I'm going to show you a few different ways that you could play it using the same chords but in different positions depending on how comfortable you are moving around. Your basic chords you're going to need for the song are F, A minor, and uh, you could do the open A minor. We can also do the A minor up here at the fifth fret bar chord, sixth string root. B flat, just go up a, a, a half step to our B flat note, B flat major chord. You can also play that off the fifth string root right here at the first fret A string. D minor open. You can also do the D minor here at the fifth fret on the A string root. And C major. Open. Right. If you could please do us a big favor and subscribe to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as you'll be notified when we have new lessons up, right? Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up, what gear you'd like to see reviewed. If you like the video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So let's first go to the intro of the song. It'll sound like this. Let me play it for you, then I'll explain. into the first verse. Okay, so the intro of the song sounds like to me, um, you're gonna play this little four finger F chord. Just play the top four strings, then add your pinky right below your third finger on the uh, G string on that B flat note. And that's gonna make the chord an F sus four. Right, then take it off, go back to your F chord. And then remove your second finger and that plays an open G, and that's an F sus two, right? So, and, he, and they hold them for a four count, so it's like a quarter note, so it's kind of like this, the count is like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, start. The verses are all the same as far as the progression. It's an F to an A minor, to a B flat. And each chord you're on for two measures or two times through the strum pattern. Now the first verse, which starts off, I, I, I saw I thought a man brought to life, she goes through the progression two times. The second verse, so I guess the fortune teller's right, she just goes through the progression one time. Let me play the progression two times like the first verse and then I'll break it down and explain it. Right there, it goes into the uh, pre-chorus. The first rhythm, let me explain the rhythm pattern I'm using, the strum pattern. And remember, like with all my lessons, I'm showing you bass ideas to get you going with the song. And then certainly once you get comfortable with them, vary them, put your own spin on them, add different techniques to make it more interesting, right? But we'll just get you going with this. Here's the bass strum we'll use. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay? 
So here it is on the F chord if I do it slow. I'm also doing, when I was playing it before, I was throwing in the rhythmic chucking. I'll show you what I was doing there in case you're up to that level and you want to do it. I was doing a down, up, down, up, chuck. So on that down stroke, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, right? D, C, I'll mark in the strum pattern where I'm putting in the chucks if you want to throw them in there. I'll try to do it slow. Kind of hard to do it slow with the chucking. I'll try. Okay, so I also put in another chuck on that second down stroke. Down, up, down, up, chuck, chuck. So two downs, two chucks. Up, 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 chuck, up, chuck, up. All right, first verse, two times through the progression, then into the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus, the vocal line is, there's nothing where he used to lie. That's where it goes to that D minor. Nothing where he used to lie. One measure on each of these. Two, a C chord. Conversation has run dry. A minor, that's what's going on. C, nothing's fine. Um, torn, goes back to the F, and that's the chorus. So the pre-chorus strum pattern we'll use on that one because we want to change it a little bit, open it up a little bit. We'll do a down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. If I do it on the D minor slow. Right, then you go to C. Right, so coming out of the verse, that last chord. Here's the chorus. I'm torn. Okay, then it goes into the chorus section. And if you're struggling with bar chords and moving them around and going from opens to bar chords, I could really help you with that. I have a killer lesson because so much is about using that proper bar chord technique, that fret hand technique. I got a video lesson that's killer that'll really get into my best bar chord playing techniques as well as there's exercises that'll get your bar chord playing and changing just skyrocket it to the next level. Just click on that link below in the YouTube description box, send you a free video lesson and my ebook, beginner ebook. I'll pair them together. I'll send them to you for free from Next Level Guitar. So the course is I'm torn. There's your F. I'm all out of faith, C. This is how I feel, D minor. I'm cold and I'm ashamed, B flat, lying naked on the floor, F. Illusion never changed, C. And on and on and on. One measure each, use the same strum pattern that we used for the verses. Let me play the chorus coming out of that pre-chorus on that C chord, right? Nothing's fine, I'm torn. So after the first chorus, it goes back into the second verse, which he only plays the progression one time, pre-chorus, chorus again, and then there's a bridge section. And the bridge section is where she just says torn, and then there's the oohs and the ahs. The chords there are F, one measure each, B flat, then D minor. Now the D minor is two measures. I'd use the same strum on the D minor as you did in the pre-chorus. Um, and then it goes to an F for one measure, to a C, and then right back into a pre-chorus. So let me play the bridge for you. It's just it's pretty much the same strum for the first two chords as we did in the, um, in the verses. And then it goes back to the D minor, back to the pre-chorus, because now we're kind of getting near the end of the song, and it goes pre-chorus once and into a chorus that they play like eight times, kind of fades out. Coming out of that bridge section into the pre-chorus, I would probably do a little shorter strum with some stops on the pre-chorus chords, just to break it up. 
and before you let it, you know, really fly for the chorus and, you know, taking it out of the song, just to mix it up a little bit. That's kind of what they infer to what they kind of do on the recording. Uh, maybe something like this. Uh, so coming out of that C in the bridge. Into the chorus. So you could see how you could kind of play with those dynamics, you know, and strum softer, not as much, strum faster, to mix things up because it's the same progressions over and over again. So you want to kind of differentiate, especially when you don't have the arrangement of other instruments, right? There's no other, there's no bass guitar, there's no other guitar, there's no keyboards, it's just the solo guitar. So you really got to kind of work the dynamics, work different rhythmic patterns to keep the interest. So let's do a play along. So you can see how I attach all these pieces together. I'll do the intro, right into the first verse, right into the pre-chorus, right into the chorus, and then start the second verse. You can kind of see how these are attached, right? enjoyed that lesson a lot of fun to play good luck in your bar chord journey remember click on that link below lots of practice exercises and bar chord techniques I'll send you my free video lesson and ebook it'll really help you along in your guitar journey just click that link below also please subscribe to the channel that really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as you'll be notified when we have new lessons out stay positive you can do it Got lots more lessons and killer content coming up, so please stay tuned. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on.